Well, homeowners in Maumee are being told they have to make thousands of dollars in repairs. Otherwise, they can't sell their home. It's all part of the city's new sewer ordinance to cut down on illegal sewer connections. Here's 13 Action News reporter Lily Lowndes with the latest. Tom Osinski's home was supposed to close on July 8, but a pending sale sign still stands in his yard, and the buyer can't move in. You know, we had a signed purchase agreement, and now, you know, it's just, it, everything just got turned upside down. Osinski said he felt blindsided by the city of Maumee's new sewer ordinance cracking down on illegal sewer connections. Before a home is sold in Maumee, sellers now have to pass a sewer inspection. Osinski's 80-year-old house failed, leaving him and his wife to foot the bill for repairs that could cost tens of thousands of dollars. $30,000 price tag? I, I don't know about you. I don't have that kind of money laying around. I don't think most people have that kind of money laying around. Because the sale is not complete, Osinski is also paying two mortgages, putting more financial strain and stress on his family. He was asked to speak about his experience during this public meeting. Dozens of passionate residents packed the Elks Lodge. Dozens more were left standing outside once it reached capacity. Homeowners and realtors spoke out about the ordinance, asking whether the city could apply for grants to help cover costs or find another way to fix the sewage problems. They want to clean up the water and the sewer, and I think everybody is on board with that. But what they're not on board with is that they're putting it on their own citizens that live here that have to come out and up front with the money. Mommy Mayor Jim McDonald announced his own community meeting to talk to residents about the sewer ordinance.